Happy Friday, Panthers, and welcome back to another episode of PTV. I'm Abby Morgenstern, and let's jump right into today's announcements. If you're interested in being an MC for this year's final Spirit Rally, signups are in the quad at lunch on May 9th. Auditions will be held on the 12th and 13th in room D6 during lunch. If you have any questions, please email nphsasg at learn.kineausd.net. The NPHS Dance Department is excited to present Current, the 2022 Dance Spring Concert. Come to the Performing Arts Center next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. to experience what they have in store. Tickets are $10 for students and $15 for adults. And now, over to Jack with Panther Window. Hey Panthers, the California primary election is happening in early June. Here, our state elected officials for education, Senate, and governor will be decided. Arguably more important to some, our local officials will be decided here as well. Up for the position of Ventura County Sheriff is current commander in the department and former chief of police in Thousand Oaks, Jim Fryhoff, running against current sheriff, Bill Ayub, up for re-election. Similarly, Current District Attorney Eric Nazarenko is running against current Senior Prosecutor John Barrick. Three separate candidates are up for election for the Supervisor position. Tim McCarthy, Claudia Bill de la Pena, current member of TO City Council and former TO Mayor, and Jeff Gurrell. If you're 18, get educated on all of these candidates' values and beliefs so that you can make an informed decision in the voting booth. And if you're not 18, have a discussion with your parents about who they're voting for and why, and to remind them to vote in the election. Informed voting decisions can really make a difference on the environment that we live in. Now, let's send it back to the desk. For those of you who are testing this week or sometime soon, remember to get a good night's rest, eat healthy, and give yourself a break. You'll do great, Panthers. And now, let's head over to Michael with an update on sports. Right. Hey, Panthers. If you didn't know by now, we have some outstanding athletes. Let's take a look at some of them. Earlier this week, we told you about the track team's amazing performance in the Marmani League Finals. To add to that, Colin Salmons and a Marmani League Finals meet record in the 1600 with a time of 4 minutes and 8.26 seconds. We also have a new school record for girls pole vault. A huge congratulations goes out to Caripsa Phipps. She cleared 10 feet, 4 inches to set the new school mark. Again, congratulations to both these students' athletes on their amazing performances. Over on the diamond, baseball beat Thousand Oaks 1-0 last week. Congratulations to James Guyette for throwing a complete game shutout. The tennis team had a strong showing at the Marmani League Championships last week. Ronak Santosh finished in third place in singles, and George Morris and Quinn Fontaine finished fourth in doubles. The team qualified for CIF Southern Section and competed against West Ranch High School, but unfortunately came up short 7-11. Congratulations on a great year. Girls Lacrosse beat Modern Day 11-10 in the first round of the playoffs, but lost in the second round to Palos Verdes. Great job on the great season. And finally, Stuntshirt beat Oaks Christian 10-6. That's all your sports updates for this week, so let's send it back to the desk. The Ukraine drive has been extended for another week. They are looking for vinyl gloves, gauze pads, heavy-duty band-aids, antibiotic ointment, sofa hearing bandages, gauze, and other alcohol prep pads, so make sure you bring donations to the front office or D26. It's no secret that music is a big part of many teenagers' lives. Most of us use some sort of digital music service to listen to our preferred tunes but some students prefer an old school way to listening to their music. Here's Dean with more. For many high school students, music is something we all can enjoy. Whether you listen digitally on streaming platforms such as Spotify or Apple Music, or on physical copies of music like CDs or records. But which is better to listen to? Let's hear both sides of the story from two fellow NPHS students. It's just something to distract me, like if I'm in class or something and we're just working on just anything like silently, it's really easy to just pop in my uh, AirPods and just start listening to music. I just think it's a lot more convenient, it's a lot cheaper. Uh, records and record players can cost a lot of money and as like you could listen to digital music anywhere at any time and you could be in the middle of nowhere and as long as you have a song downloaded you could just listen. But I've heard from some of my friends that that own records, that the sound quality on records are actually a little bit better. 
Listening to music digitally definitely has its pros, but let's check out what it's like to listen to physical copies of music. I like using records because I think just having an actual like physical copy of the album makes it feel like more special in a way, as opposed to digital when you can just go to it any time on your phone. Having a physical copy of it at home makes it feel more personal and more yours. I think the best thing about records is definitely the sound quality. Um, the sound on it is just way better than digital if you have like a good record player and a good sound system. I think people should definitely use records because I think it helps you build a greater appreciation for the album. And I think a main reason for that is when you put on a record, you pretty much have to listen to it all the way through. Like, it's kind of a hassle to go and skip songs on a record. So I think listening to an album all the way through gives you really like the full experience of the album. And I think that definitely made me appreciate the albums more. Reporting for PTV, I'm Dean Jiller. Student One acts are today and tomorrow, May 7th, 6th, at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $10 and can be purchased at the door or online at the NPHS Theater website. Unfortunately, Panthers, we've reached the end of today's announcements. In honor of Teacher Appreciation Week, remember to say thanks to your teachers, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.